functional movement pattern to help improve the hip joint, to help teach that hip to live back in the socket so that it's not always rolling forward into the, into the hip flexors and into the front of the socket and into the capsule. Um, so what we do is we get them on all fours in quadruped. Hands are shoulder width apart, okay? Knees are shoulder width apart. Knees are directly underneath the hips. Hands are directly underneath the shoulder, okay? She's in a flat lumbar spine, so I don't wanna see her rounded, and I don't wanna see her arched, like that, right? So I want a neutral spine, so this is straight, good. She's gonna maintain that neutral spine as she rocks backwards towards her heels, right there, good, and back up, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, the inside of my hand right here, and I'm gonna place it right into her groin, okay? It's truly right where the hip meets the um, hip bone. So this is my ASIS or the hip bone, and this is the front of the femur. Okay, so I take my hand, and I place it right into her groin. So she's right in there, okay? And then I'm taking my other hand and I just stabilize on top of her tailbone, her sacrum, just so I have something to kind of stabilize on. From here, I'm gonna press back towards her bottom, pushing that hip back in the socket as she rocks backwards. So abs engage, Cassidy, so she engages her abs. Push through the heels of your hands. Try to push your, your, your hip through your butt, glute max, like through your buttock. Go back up, good. So think about that hip bone gliding back into your glute max, into your buttock. Good, and back up. And abs. Back up. Push straight back. And you gotta make sure that they're rocking straight back. There you go. And not, not kind of limping to one side like this. So you don't want them to limp to one side. You wanna make sure that they go straight back over their hips. So you shouldn't see the hips tilt or anything. So you just go straight back. Go ahead. And again, I'm just gonna push that hip back and I'm gonna glide that hip back. Glide that hip back. And she's just gonna do, I would say I do 20, 20 or so of these. And then let the patient continue with hand heel rocks on their own with a stick on their back. And again, all I'm doing is pushing that hip back in the socket as she rocks. This will help to improve hip flexion. It'll help to decrease pain in their hip and help teach that femoral head to live further back in the socket so it's not living so far forward.